Welcome to another video by Geek97. In this video, I'm going to teach you about apply and call methods in JavaScript. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. I'm a Microsoft MVP and a Google developer expert. So apply and call methods are used to call a function indirectly in JavaScript. You should use apply and call methods when you need to manually pass value of this object inside a function. So let us say that I have a function here called foo. And in this function, we are saying console.log and printing the value of this. Now here I'm running this inside Node.js environment. So when I call this function, like this, so when you call this function, uh, like a function, it is called function vocation pattern. In this, in the function vocation pattern, the value of this object would become the global object. So now when you run this, you see that you are getting uh, that Node.js global object as the output. So keep in mind that the value of this object inside a function always depends on that how you are calling that function. If you are calling that function as function vocation pattern, then always it would be the global object. If you run exactly the same code inside browser, the value here should be window. So actually when you call a function as a function invocation pattern, even though there is nothing before it, but uh, internally for JavaScript, it is that global object dot foo, or in case of browser, that's window dot foo. So whatever is the object is before the dot, that becomes the value of this inside the function. Now, assume that we have one object here called product, and that object has a title, the title is Spain and uh, say price is 20. Now our requirement is that we want to pass this product object as value of this in the function foo. So we want that product should be value of this inside the function foo. Now how do you do that? And suppose here we are saying that print product and uh, we are passing here in a stock one extra parameter. Now the requirement is in front of you that we want to pass this value product as the value of this inside the function print product. Now how we should do that? And here we let us say want to print uh, this dot title is this dot title cost this dot price and in a stock the value which we are going to pass which is in stock so here we are uh, printing uh, that information about the product now, right now, if you go and run this, this code would definitely give you error because it says that foo is not defined. Sorry, we need to call this function print product. So now when you call this, it says that undefined cost undefined. And let us give some spaces here. <clears throat> all right, so what it is what it is giving you that all the values are undefined here, undefined cost, undefined stock, undefined, because for the global object, title, price, uh, properties does not exist. Now to call this product object inside this print product, what you got to do, you need to call this function indirectly, and that is called indirect invocation pattern, and you can use call or apply for that. So here I'll go and use call, and the first parameter would be the value of this object. In this case, we want that product. So let us go and pass it here. And then the second parameter should be a value of in stock. So let us say we'll say true. And uh, 
when you run this you say that you are getting here pn cost 20 in stock true because now manually using the indirect invocation pattern we are able to pass value of this object inside the print product function so here if you go and print console.log this now it should be the product object so this is the main purpose of call and apply method it is to control the va the value of this inside a function this is it is to pass uh, value of this manually inside the function you can very much go and call it using apply but apply in the apply you need to pass these parameters in an array so apply takes extra parameters in array and call takes extra parameter as uh, as a comma separated value so here we are now you understand that why you need a call and apply methods so basically uh, apply and call methods are used to call a function indirectly when you call a function using apply and call methods that is called indirect invocation pattern the first parameter is always the value of this object which you which we are passing here this product object in the apply method parameters are passed as an array in the call method parameters are passed as a comma separated uh, one uh, another use case of call is in the inheritance so suppose i have uh, this is a real time uh, use case uh, i have a product function and i call it as uh, so let us i have a function called person and that has name and is and here we are saying that this dot name is equal to name and this dot is is equal to is now we have another function and that function is student that also takes name is and uh, student is in a grade and then we have another function called teacher and that takes name age and say salary now we know that this dot cell equal to cell we can make here and here we can say this dot grade is equal to grade but what we want we want to use this person because a student is a person and teacher is a person so if you can go ahead and very much do this dot name equal to name but in that case you cannot reuse uh, this person function so here you can direct indirectly call that person function and then can pass the first parameter this and in this case the first parameter is the current object this and then you can pass name and age so who whatever is the value of this object in the student function we are passing that as the this object of the person and then setting the property name and is and same we can do here in uh, teacher function also and here we'll say the first parameter is this and then pass name and is all right so here we have we are able to use this person function inside a student and teacher now if you go and say that s1 equal to new a student and full then age is eight and grade is let us say a and then console.log s1 here you should able to get a student and similarly here we can say where teacher equal to new teacher and then can pass go 20 and salary let us say 4000 and console.log t1 now this should uh, t1 equal to new teacher and here we need to pass person.call and name and is it should it should uh, it should person.call this and then name and is and it should work perfectly fine so what is happening here is that when you are making an object like this by calling a function this is called constructor invocation pattern and when you call a function using new operator the value of this inside the function is always that newly created object so right now the value of this here in the student is this newly created object and we are passing that newly created object in the person using direct invocation pattern and then creating uh, adding this name and age property to the same newly created object so this is one real-time example of uh, indirect invocation pattern or call and uh, 
apply methods. So I hope you find uh, this uh, video useful. Uh, for any query, you can send me email at debugmode at outlook.com or comment on the video. Thank you for watching.